For me, the main selling points of the Canon 550D or Rebel 2Ti were the fact that its video capabilities were as good as the much pricier 7Ds and the fact that it had a microphone input jack. After purchasing, however, I was quite disappointed with the latter. The camera's audio auto gain was completely unsubtle when using an external microphone and the internal microphone, like with all DSLRs, was fairly awful. I needed an audio solution. After much deliberation, I decided to get the Zoom H1, a microphone and recorder. The last word in that sentence was in fact the most interesting. The recorder meant that I could plug in a lavalier microphone, as the H1 has audio input. Ok, so for the review, to start off with, I will show you the features of the H1, and then I will give you a comparison between it and the 550D's internal mic in several scenarios. The first thing you notice when you pick up the Zoom H1 is just how light it is. This is thanks to the plastic construction, which ensures maximum portability. On the front, we notice that there is a big red button. This is for record. It's soft, so the microphone won't pick up the clicking. The screen is backlit and shows various information. On the right side, we see that there is the line-in socket, the input levels, and the playback buttons. There's also the on and off switch and the micro USB socket. On the left, we notice that there is the line out socket and the playback volume and the micro SD. On the back, there's the battery cover, the tripod mount and the low cut filter, auto level and the recording format, WAV or MP3. On the base, there is the speaker. The actual microphone is of the XY format. Okay, so this is long distance with the 550D's internal microphone. And this is with the Zoom H1's microphone. <laughs> 550D's microphone. So, for the verdict. Of course, like with anything in life, the H1 isn't flawless. The build quality is pretty terrible, the plastic construction doesn't induce confidence and squeaks when handled with anything more than absolute care. However, by far the biggest problem is that the tripod mount is also made out of plastic. It's stripped within three uses, hence the permanent adapter on mine. On balance though, the Zoom H1 microphone recorder represents excellent value for money considering the audio quality, just a shame about all the plastic design. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.